Hi, so today I'm going to follow up on a video that I did about two or three years ago on vision engineering microscopes. This was a plea to vision engineering to make a microscope with a better camera in it so that I could use their microscopes instead of the Amscope or Omano ones that I typically use. The Omano and the Amscope ones, like the, I recommend the Amscope uh, highly. It has great image quality. You can zoom in, you can zoom out, and the cameras that I'm able to attach to it are, as you can see here, of very high quality. I can, they put out a 422 uncompressed uh, 1080p 60 frame per second signal. There's no banding, there's no junk. I can choose the level of compression that I use rather than you know the, uh, being limited by the crappy hardware. If I'm running wires to something, you can clearly see how I'm doing it. You, you, it doesn't skip a beat. But the one problem with this, this microscope setup is that it is naturally very uncomfortable. So if I were to show you how I have to sit in order to use this, Unlike the guy that I'm going to show you on screen over here, so there's a guy on the vision engineering website here that is just staring straight forward into the mantis, I have to do something that looks like this. So if I sit and look straight forward, I can't see anything, you have to do this. Or I could lower the chair, but still, then I have to bend my neck more. So you're going to be bending your neck or your back to look into this microscope, and it's, it gets to be very uncomfortable. To you sitting at home, this may seem silly or trivial, but if you're doing this for hours and hours at a time, or you're having these 12-hour sessions trying to figure out a new signature problem on a new device, this can be incredibly aggravating and incredibly uncomfortable. It forces you to take frequent breaks. Even after you take the frequent breaks, you don't want to come back and sit here and do this. And it, I, I mean, I walk home for about an hour every day just so that I can relax my body and you know, just you know, undo what gets done when you sit and do this all day. So. And this microscope over here is fairly expensive. As you can see, it's $4,425 for the base configuration uh, with the camera here. So the base configuration with the camera is $4,425. That is a lot of money. However, I'll say honestly, that is a lot of money that I would be more than happy to spend. And I say this seriously, I would happily spend that money to be more comfortable because I do this every single day. And I mean, when you look at the prices that we charge and the money that we make for doing this, it's really a drop in the bucket compared to my own comfort and health. However, there's one caveat with these microscopes is that the camera that's built into them is complete and utter garbage. And vision engineering does not have an option for any amount of money for a better camera. So I would have to choose between my comfort and being able to make videos for all the people who watch. And I've chosen to make videos so that people can learn. And if you don't believe me that this camera is really, really awful, you can look at EEV Blog's videos where he has reviewed this microscope and you'll see that it is pretty awful. So the, here you have on the right, Dave Jones, and by the way, you should all subscribe to EEV Blog. If you like what's here, I'm pretty sure you've heard of EEV Blog, but if you haven't, go over and subscribe to his channel and watch his stuff. I, um, I'm a, I've been a subscriber since about 2011 or so, and it's just really good stuff. So on the right, you'll see that this is Dave Jones taking his camcorder and just putting it up to the viewfinder of the camera. So this is not the camera that's built into the microscope. This is just his camcorder in the microscope, and you get this pretty decent picture. On the left, you can see the camera that's built into the microscope, which looks like complete and utter garbage. In addition, you can see over here that the, micro that the microscope camera that's built in is working at 800 by 600 resolution and let's see what the frame rate is i believe that dave caught the frame rate so yeah 37.09 frames a second so it's about half the frames per second of the microscope that i use and half the resolution that's garbage now if we were to move over it gets even funny it gets even better so if we move over to when dave decided to up it to 1600 by 1200 it gets even worse 1600 by 1200 you get 12 fucking frames a second 12.7 frames a second. That, I mean, like, come on. I mean, silent films in the 1920s had better frame, had better frame rates than this. This is a joke. I mean, I mean, I can't teach people at 12.75 frames a second. It's just, it's just awful. I mean, you wouldn't learn anything. You wouldn't be entertained by it. It would be just shameful. I mean, I, you wouldn't, it just, I wouldn't be able to get anything across uh, that, that's even remotely professional in quality. And you all know how much I hate using that word professional. So, here is, uh, he here is my plea. I would like to ask that Vision Engineering make a microscope, and you can charge us extra. So I, this camera that I use here is about $700, seven or $800. They make cheaper ones that are four to 300 that are actually better than that crap camera built in. I would say I would be willing to spend an extra $2,000 on this if you just put a camera in it that wasn't a complete piece of crap. Because the camera that's in here is shit. And the problem is that... It, it, 
I, again, I'm, I'm all for capitalism. So you, you should add a checkbox here that says, give us a camera that's not a piece of crap and charge me an extra 2000 bucks." And believe it or not, I'd actually pay for it. Now, when I originally did that video uh, over here, I had maybe, what, like 8,000 or 12,000 subscribers. I didn't have a lot of subscribers. I didn't get a lot of views. After years, you can see that this video is stuck at 4,700 views. So I, and, and that's after several years. Now I'll get 5,000 views within the first hour or so that I release a video. So I, and I got a lot of messages back then saying, why should a company change how they do business for you? Why should a company add a new product to their lineup but why should they change anything based on, you know, what one person wants? And it's not like anybody's going to care or buy this thing. And today, I would like to actually refute that. So let me just show you some information here. So as you can see in all of my modern videos, I've got links in the description to all the tools that I use. Ever since 2014, people have been nonstop asking me for the tools that I use and why I use them. I did a video on the tools and why I use them. And then I put links to, in the description to my preferred tips, my preferred hot air station, my preferred microscope, my, my, the cameras that I use down here, and all the different stuff that I use is all linked over here. So what I decided to do is I decided to check out on Amazon and see what the sales figures were for Amscope, Hel uh, Hacko, and Weller, just by themselves. I didn't even check out every other brand, and there's no way for me to tell if you bought something on eBay or Craigslist or anything like that. So just looking at what people bought from the links in my description from July of last year when I started this to a few days ago, uh, let me show you what the results are here. So for Weller, and I only advertise the WHA 900 in the links, which is what I use, we have sold $21,461.73 worth of that on Amazon. For Hacko Gear, over the last year, $98,622.18 of Hacko Gear has been sold on Amazon from the links in my description. And microscopes, when you go to Amscope, just Amscope alone, not any other brand of microscope, not Omano, not Leica, not Vision Engineering. If we scroll down this, this very long list, at the end of it, I added it up, and it was $134,815.65 worth of microscopes sold from my listing. Which, well, not, I shouldn't say listing, from my link in the description. This is just from one store. And as you can see, when it comes to branding, do you, do you see the brand of any mic? Can you read the brand of the microscope I'm using? Can you read the brand of the hot air station that I'm using? Can you read the brand of the, of the Hasako the soldering station I'm using? For, for, this, is, this is terrible branding. Let's just face it. This, all of how I've you know, branded this setup, if I was trying to sell stuff, is pretty awful. And in spite of the branding being god-awful in a year, just microscopes alone, $134,000 of sold from clicking those links. And there's good reason for it. It's not because I'm great at branding, and this could always get better, but I'm not good at branding, I'm not good at advertising, and honestly, I'm not even putting in that much effort to do so. It's just because people see the content I'm making, they want to do the same thing that I'm doing, they try to do it with their own equipment, they, get, they realize the same thing that I realized when I started doing this, which is that they bought all the wrong stuff, and then they see that I'm fixing something, and I'm doing it successfully on camera, live, unedited often, in real time. And they go, wow, this setup works for him. Let me ask him what he uses. And then once they see that I've used my setup to fix something and everything works, and I tell them what to buy, they just blindly take out their credit card and buy it. Whether you think that's a good thing or a bad thing, as you can see from the numbers, that has been the behavior. So I would argue that it would probably make sense to add something in like add a little option to put a better camera on that. Because if I'm using it, people may actually buy it. And there's proof that if I use something, that a lot of people are going to buy it. Now, I'm also going to uh, make the same plea to Amscope. Amscope, if Vision Engineering doesn't listen, and Vision Engineering keeps charging four to $6,000 for that thing with the terrible camera, my second plea would be, Amscope, if you're listening to this, can you make a microscope like the Vision Engineering one? If you do, I will buy it. Whoever can come up with this first, I promise. I will buy it, and I will put a link in the description. Make something like this so that I don't have to bend over anymore to look into my microscope. And if Amscope makes this, I will buy it. If some other company makes it, I will buy it. Make something where I can look straight into the microscope without having to bend over and make something that has a good, high-quality camera that's as good as the one that I'm using or better that I can utilize for all my streams and my educational videos. I would... I don't want to get to the point where I'm so uncomfortable doing this that I buy a microscope that doesn't allow me to make videos anymore. And 
but I'm, I'm very close to getting there because it is genuinely uncomfortable to do this. And I'm actually at a point where I wouldn't mind spending $5,000 and not caring about doing YouTube videos anymore. So, and it's not a money thing. It's not a money thing. It's, it's a matter of, the, of no company exists that makes a comfortable microscope with a camera built in. But if a company does decide to make a comfortable microscope with a camera built in, I will buy it, I will list it below, and by God, as I've proved, people will buy it. Hopefully this incentivizes some microscope manufacturer that's watching to make a microscope for this new, strange, funky world of the internet where people are actually live streaming board repair. I completely understand that when Amsco, Bomano, uh, Leica, and, uh, and Vision Engineering started making these microscopes, there was no such thing as a genre of online video. There was no such thing as as a genre where people sit, uh, you know, hundreds of thousands of people sit down every day and decide, I want to watch somebody fix motherboards on the internet. But this is 2017. The world has changed, and there are a lot of people that want to watch people fix boards on the internet. And the first person that makes it comfortable for the content creators to do so is probably the first microscope company that's going to make more money. So that's it for today. If anybody decides that they want to listen to my plea and create a comfortable microscope with a camera, I will be very happy because that will mean that I don't have to choose between whether I want to be uncomfortable and produce content or be comfortable and not produce content. Thank you very much for viewing as always. And hopefully somebody makes something.